The Super League is back in the spotlight after a landmark ruling by the European Court of Justice. The court found that UEFA and FIFA, the governing bodies of European and global football, had rules that were in breach of EU law. This has revived talk of a Super League project involving Real Madrid and Barcelona. However, UEFA remains confident that the threat will be averted, just as it was in 2021. Let's take a closer look at the key questions surrounding this ruling. The story began in April 2021 when 12 of Europe's biggest clubs announced their participation in the Super League, a competition designed to rival UEFA's Champions League. However, the project quickly fell apart due to widespread condemnation and supporter protests. Real Madrid, Barcelona, and Juventus refused to withdraw and instead took legal action against UEFA and FIFA, arguing that their rules violated EU competition law. The case was referred to the European Court of Justice, which has now ruled that the rules of FIFA and UEFA are contrary to EU law. The court stated that new breakaway competitions should be allowed to enter the market, and FIFA and UEFA were accused of abusing their dominant position. However, the court did not rule on the specific Super League project. While this ruling has been celebrated by those backing the Super League, the resistance against the project remains strong. Many clubs, including PSG, Bayern Munich, Manchester United, and Chelsea, have denounced any notion of a revived Super League. Fan groups have also vehemently opposed the project. Despite this, A22, the management company working on behalf of the Super League, has announced plans for a revised competition with 64 teams and a promotion and relegation system. The ruling has emboldened those seeking to challenge the authority of FIFA and UEFA. A22 believes it now has a mandate to push ahead with reform and encourage other clubs to join the breakaway league. However, UEFA and FIFA maintain that the ruling has changed very little and that they will continue to regulate the sport. The ruling also raises questions about the future of football governance and the possibility of new tournaments funded by wealthy backers. Investment banks and private equity firms may consider funding a Super League project, and there is speculation that Saudi Arabia, which has already disrupted the golf world with the LIV Golf Tour, could launch a similar venture in football. In the UK, the government has vowed to introduce legislation to prevent English clubs from joining breakaway competitions like the Super League. The Premier League has also implemented sanctions, including point deductions and fines, to deter clubs from attempting another breakaway. In conclusion, while the Super League project has been revived by the European Court of Justice ruling, it still faces significant opposition. The long-term implications of the ruling remain uncertain, but it has certainly opened the door for further debate and potential reform in the world of football.